glad. And as you say to God, we've been talking about the Holy Ghost this last month. Glory to God, we've been focusing on it. We've been talking about it anyway, but we've been focusing on the Holy Ghost tonight. Those of you who were at Bible study Tuesday night know that. Glory to God, I shared that this month we've been talking about Holy Ghost power. Yeah. Yes. But 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 this is the first Sunday in October, and so we're going to shift it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man. It was Holy Ghost power. Now it's going to be the power of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I just, we just want, I really want to focus on this power. Power. Because we talk about so much, so many of our natural things and all of that stuff. But we're really not focusing on the importance of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus Amen. said, Glory to God, I'm going away. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna, not going to leave you comfortless. Right. Amen. Yeah, did he promise that? Glory to God. He said he's going to send, a, glory to God, the comforter is going to come. Glory Amen. to God. Whom the Father will send in my name. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. And so it's so, so, so important for us, amen, to be filled with the Holy Ghost and to not run away from that. Amen. amen. Glory amen. to God. Not run away from that. Yeah. Amen. Don't let nobody tell you don't, don't speak in tongues. <laughs> yeah. Glory to God. Now, there's a time for everything. Yeah. We're going to talk about that Tuesday night. We'll get some clarity concerning the tongue Tuesday night in Bible study. But glory to God, the tongues can be used not only as an initial sign of being baptized in the Holy Ghost, but it, it's also, glory to God, a weapon in our warfare. Amen. Amen. I'm going to talk over here. Amen. 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 It's a weapon in our warfare. Amen. Because you don't know how to pray as you are, but the Spirit of God. Yes. Make this intercession with drones that cannot be uttered. Amen. 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 And then some folks have the gift of tongues. Yeah. The gift of tongues are properly exercised in the body of Christ when there is an interpretation Amen. of those tongues. Amen. Can I talk to somebody? Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 Now, if it's just you and the Lord, you don't need nobody to interpret. Holy Ghost is speaking in an unknown tongue. Amen. Yeah. Angel language, uh -huh. not a other tongue, which is one used, I'm going to talk about this tongue, but one that has been or it has been or is being used in the earth. Uh -huh. Other tongues. Uh -huh. but then you have unknown tongues. Uh -huh. The Bible right, talks yeah. about those are the tongues of angels. Yeah. But they are powerful, they're awesome, they speak what you can't say. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Anybody ever felt uh, some something just when felt? Let me use y'all phrase some kind of way. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know what that means, but y'all feel like, like some kind of way, but you couldn't pinpoint what it was. Yeah, man. Anybody ever had that yeah. kind of a? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Awesome. But the Holy Ghost knows exactly what it is. Yes, yes. yes. Sometimes there's something you have not arrived at yet. But the Holy Ghost is saying, consult me, seek me, get in my will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because by the time you get there, I'm going to have worked it all out. Amen. All right, yeah. now, boy. I'll give you an understanding of what you're dealing with. Yes, Lord. That's the Holy Spirit. That's him working in the lives of the people. And somebody say, I've been, been baptized in the Holy Ghost as an incident subsequent to salvation, meaning I've been saved. And so it was the Spirit of God who drew draw me in or brought me into the body of Christ. I have the indwelling. Woo, I'm talking about. Yeah. I have the indwelling of the Holy Ghost because he saved me. And so I'm in the body of Christ because the Holy Ghost brought me in. Yeah. But then Jesus told them, glory to God, to go to the upper room and wait for the promise of the Father. Glory to God. So that meant that they spent 10 days in the upper room. 10 days. Jesus had been on the earth 40 days convincing those that he talked to and others that he was the Christ, the Messiah who had come and died and been resurrected and going back to heaven. But he spent 40 days encouraging and explaining and showing himself to the people. Yes. And so after he had done that, he told them to go to the upper room on his way out. He said, now nah, I'm getting ready to go, but y'all go to the upper room and wait. Hmm. I'm going to yeah. send you a promise. Yeah. And they don't know what they were waiting on. Yes. Yes. They don't know what it is. Hmm. Glory to God. But if they'd have looked back and listened to Jesus about what he had told them earlier, he breathed on them and said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. 
But now he tells them to go to the upper room and wait for the promise of the Father. So they go up to the upper room. He didn't spend 40 days on the earth. Now they go up and wait 10 days. Above 500 initially started out in the upper room. But in those 10 days, 380 of them said, you know what, I'm tired. I got to go. So there was only left 120 in the upper room. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly, there came a sound. As of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Sat upon each of them as clothing done like as a pot. The Holy Spirit came in the house. And it caused all of those who were there, who were required to be there because they were Jewish leaders, Jewish men, glory to God, they were there to, because they were required because of this Feast of Pentecost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or the Feast of Weeks, they were there. They were required to be in town in Jerusalem. And where, while they were there, uh-huh. Jesus showed him, Jesus showed out through the Holy yeah. Ghost. <laughs> the Holy Ghost fell on the 10th day. That was 50. 50. That's why we are Pentecostals. That's why we call ourselves Pentecostals. Because on the day of Pentecost, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. can I teach somebody the Holy Ghost? Yes. You ought to know what you believe. Yes. Yes. That's right. The Holy Ghost fell on the day of Pentecost. Pentecost was a was a, uh, a feast that was celebrated by Judaism. Yes. Jesus said, glory to God, I didn't come to destroy the law. Right. Oh, yeah. That's what he said. So he came back at that time intentionally. Yeah. Yeah. But they needed to know there was a shifting taking place. Yeah. <laughs> they thought the Pentecost was called some agricultural feast. But it was the feast that the Holy Ghost would institute on the life of the new yes. church. Yes. The believers, the church. Yes. Yes. The iglesia, yes. the called out one. Yes. Yeah. Look at somebody oh, and tell them it ain't about my denomination, yeah. about my denomination. Or, or my non-denomination. Oh, my non-denomination. Come on, tell somebody I'm a part of the Iglesia. I'm a part of the called out body of believers. Hallelujah. Hey, greatness. Don't you let nobody fool you with all that old silly stuff. I'm a fat kid. I'm a church that called him coach. <laughs> you can tell if they Kojic or not if they say Kojic they really ain't from <laughs> Methodist I said this a little bit at the homeborn celebration for our dear sister the other day glory to God but I am so I am so moved by God these days yes, come on now, for God. us to be comfortable and to know who we are yes. and most importantly whose we are yes, uh-huh. yes. Who we represent. We represent. Look at somebody telling you, you represent Christ. Yeah. You represent Christ. You represent Jesus. Stop cussing. Yeah. I'm just looking at the wall. <laughs> Nobody told me nothing. You represent Jesus. Stop all that drinking. Blowing rings of smoke. Stop it. Walk circumspect. Walk in the integrity of the word of God. Let the Holy Ghost be your God. Thank you, Lord. Somebody today, my time is running out. We better. But I'm, I, I had a message. I have a message. Glory to God. I'll preach it at the next service, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I want to teach this. Come on, man. Come on. I want all of us to get this thing. We got to get this thing right. Yeah, man. We got to stop flipping and tripping. Flipping and tripping. We can't be counted on. Amen. Just depending on who say whatever they say. That's right. We determine whether or not I say something back. Oh, Why not? Jesus. Where you go? I might get you them. Know, because they really don't know who they miss. Yeah. They just don't know. Jesus, Jesus. I want you to get this. This is critical. The Holy Ghost has come to 
calls us to be able to live a godly life. Amen. A godly life. And so Paul, as he begins to talk about this thing, Paul, Saul, glory to God. But Paul begins to deal with all of these churches and he writes to them and he yeah. tries to influence them. Yeah. To know that the Holy Ghost has come for them. Yes. Amen. Now don't nobody get this. Oh, I hear you. Holy Ghost. Let me just say this. Don't nobody think because some churches don't believe in being baptized in the Holy Ghost. They just believe in accepting Christ as the Lord and Savior. That's fine. But that don't mean they're not getting ready to go to heaven. But the Bible makes it clear if you want to be continuing to live in the earth and you want to be as effective as you can be, you need the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 I'm going to say be filled. Be filled. A present state of being. Be filled. Be filled. Because you need that power. Yeah. Romans 12 and 1 says, I beseech or beg you, brother, I urge you. Yes. Therefore, because of the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a yes. while you alive sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That means you got to tell yourself no. Yes, Amen. yes, Lord. Amen. yes, Lord. That means that you submit your body to the will of God, even when you don't feel like you want to. Amen. Amen. That means you get involved and get active in the work and the will of God. Glory to God. Even if somebody else was doing it, you go help them. Right, yes. right, right, right. Look at somebody and tell them you can't lead everything. You can't lead everything. But you ought to be a doer. You ought to be a doer. That's true. Let me repeat that which I heard my bishop say yesterday, but y'all heard me say it as well. I love it. It says, a good leader is a good follower. Yes. Oh, yes. Very true. Very true. If you can't follow nobody, you are not a good leader because you don't understand what it takes to lead people. Right, Pastor said. You can't always have your way, even if your name is at the top of the page. Right. Amen. Because you're not the smartest one. In, in matter of fact, it's a shame to always be the smartest one in the room. <laughs> Which means you can't learn nothing. It's don't sound like the Bible. He <laughs> said, by the mercies of God. I mean, you know, you're walking in the mercies of God. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. And how we ought to do it? Holy. 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 Somebody holy. shout, holy. Holy. And acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable, reason. rational, yes. responsible service. Yes. That's what it is. You ain't done nothing special. <laughs> you don't get to get a plaque. Oh Just because you didn't cuss them out, you don't get a plaque. Jesus. Just because you didn't threaten them, glory to God. We're not going to name a day in your honor. Amen. 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 That's good. Oh, and he says, and be not conformed. This world. This world. Don't let the world be the mold Amen. which makes your life, yeah. which shapes your life. Yeah. Don't let the world be the mold. Yeah. Many times, glory to God, we are, we're running around here trying to be Everybody, please, everybody. We want every. We, I gotta win them to Christ. Where you going? I'm going to the club. I'm trying to get them into Christ. <laughs> you got to be careful because you're. We don't battle flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. And the rulers of darkness of this present world yes. against spiritual wickedness in the heavenlies. Yes. And so we've got individuals, glory to God, who are full of the devil. Yes. Who yes. shout like we do. Amen. Who have a tongue. Yes. They speak in other tongues. They speak in another tongue. And if you don't watch yourself, you'll get caught up by the by the fake tongue. Yes. Yes. Amen. 
and look at somebody and tell them, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. The devil has power. The devil has power. Just not all power. Don't be fooled. The devil has power. So you see, glory to God, these mediums and you see folk, I'm a Sagittarius. And you know, we like that. And so they pick a trait that Sagittarians have and they say, see, I have that trait. But understand, the devil has power. Yes. And so he confuses you by connecting something that seems to make sense to you. Because understand, the devil is not omniscient. He don't know everything. Right, right. But he does know what happened to you in your past, and he know what happened to people in their past. Mm -hmm. He know what tripped up folks that's thinking like you thinking, going through what you're going through, mm -hmm. searching like you searching. Uh -huh. And so he he knows, glory to God, what you, many times he knows, glory to God, what you desire because he put the thought in your mind in the first place. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm, my time is up, but, but I got to finish this song. Go ahead, Pastor. It says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. Yeah. Be transformed. Yeah. That means because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, yeah. Yeah. you got to understand, glory to God, that God has now Jesus. got to transform Jesus. us. Yeah. He oh. saves us. Yeah. We commit our hearts to him, uh -huh. and then he begins the process of sanctification, yeah. of shaping us like him, shaping us and molding us into his will. Yeah. Yeah. Now, our first nature, because we were born, Adam messed it up for all of us. Our first nature is sin. Uh -huh. That's why a two-year-old baby takes the cookie and says, I didn't do it. <laughs> Crumbs all around his eyebrow. <laughs> because that's his first nature, but God. Be not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing. Listen, look at somebody and tell them the battlefield. The battlefield. For your soul. For your soul. It's in your mind. It's in your mind. Yes. Yes. Man. Man. The devil is working on our mind. There's folks in here right now. Still, uh, they thinking about some other stuff other than what I'm saying. Uh, amen. 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 Already know. Yeah. My God. My God. My God. Oh. Go ahead, Pastor. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> because the enemy wants to steal your attention. That's right. That's his job. Yes. Yes. Because if you know the truth, the truth will make you free. Yes. 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 He wants to steal your attention. Don't listen. Yeah. You left them going burn beans on the stove. They're gonna burn. <laughs> you ain't even cooking beans. <laughs> So that you may be able to be renewing by, by the renewing of your mind, that you may be able to prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Perfect here is not without error. Perfect for you is maturity. Till we come into maturity, until Christ comes, then we will be. Because we don't know what we are. We don't know what we're going to be like. But when Jesus comes, we'll know what we'll, we will be because we will see him. Yes. And we will be what he has called us to be in him. Amen. But right now, you've got to grow into maturity. Yes. I've been saved 20 years and immature 20 years. How you say that, Pastor? Oh, just because they don't do it the way you want to do it, you're not going to be in the many committee no more. Right. 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 That's it. That's it. Yeah. Tell the truth, Pastor. Let's write me off. Right. All right. Right. I know you just to because know. somebody yeah. glory to God who has been saved oh, and fell had an error you make it the topic of your conversation yeah. 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 that's yeah. immature yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. immature you gotta set them straight 
Stand. 